we're here as a company and you know we've been having lower sales and and you know it's partly due to the economy and we kind of like to have um, you know some ideas of maybe perhaps opening in some outlet stores to kind of you know increase our sales and to do some things with some of our product and we'd like to have your thoughts on that uh, all right and I um, want to say thank you for letting me do this for you guys you know I love our company it is great score is just I love working for you guys and I just um, want to thank you for giving me this opportunity um, so the first I'd like to say is I do not think we should open up the outlet malls um, I know there's some consequences to that you know we're gonna lose some profits um, you know getting our name out there but honestly I think we'll get our name out there to um, a target market that we do not want uh, we're known for being high quality upscale clients and if we go back to the, the outlet malls we're really gonna get um, you know maybe the same um, age range that we want but really just lower um, not as well um, not as wide as the clientele that we, you know our a lot wider clientele than what we would like mm -hmm. and um, some like benefits I think for not opening you know outlet malls is that we're going to keep our brand image our brand image is being high quality well craftsmanship like products and if we sell to outlet malls and so, you know, I know this won't, maybe it might be out of season, or, but we don't want to get the idea to our clients that we're selling products that might be damaged or not, you know, lower quality. And I just do not think that's a good idea for our company. Um, also, you know, I know the economy, you know, last five years, but if you think about it, last five years was 2007, and that's when the stock, mar stock market and the economy just crashed. And I feel like that we're really, really turning around. You know, um, I was reading on the uh, online that Black Friday this year they said it's really it's just gonna hit the ballpark right now you know so I really think our economy has completely turned around or you know it's not quite there yet we haven't done a 180 but we're we're reaching up there we're growing um, another thing is you know if we do go to the outlet malls I feel like we're gonna lose our relationship with our clientele with our consumers um, we have a great relationship of you know having that higher quality you know if you need something if you want something to be completely customized we can do that for them we can we can be there for them we have that relationship that we established if we go to the outlet malls and just sell products that are like yeah they're we don't we basically are throwing them away type of you know people are going to see that as that and also you know with that relationship it's the whole mind over matter if um our clients know that we're selling products that are may not be up to their quality then maybe our like our company is not up to their standards and they'll look somewhere else um, I just don't agree with that. And again, like I mentioned, our target market is upscale clientele. Um, and we just, I think that's where the profits are. We should probably stay there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I know I mentioned there, uh, um, you know, there might be um, an ethical dilemma. You know, I don't really take that in a matter. I feel like there is no, you know, um, outlet malls really don't have an ethical dilemma. You know, just sometimes, sometimes products are, aren't made like they should. And I understand that, but since we are a well craftsmanship um, like products, I feel like you know we really don't come into that. Um, but I have thought, you know, I don't want us to just forget about it and not get those sales. I have thought of alternatives for us. Um, so alter some alternatives is maybe sell in regular malls. You know, that could be one. But really, what I think we should do, I know that we're number two in our country. I want us to strive for top in the world. Like I think we really should go internationally. Um, Europe, Asia, Japan spends so much money on clothes. Um, the consumers there, uh, uh, Japanese consumers, I know for a fact, spend top dollar to look good. And that's what we have, that's what we can offer them. And I really think that we should just go internationally. Um, with you know, And also, with last season, we can offer discounts for people if we really wanna strive for that extra, extra profit. Discounts online, we have products that were completely sold that were last season, offer some discounts for them. Black Friday's coming up, you know, put those on clearance. Um, also, I thought we could do was have athletes and celebrities advertise for us, you know, wearing our product, using our products, you know, especially like athletes with our athletic division and everything. You know, they're upscale, athletes can afford that, and you know, our consumers will see that and be like, oh, well, you know, LeBron James is wearing our shoes, what, you know? Exactly. People will see that and they'll be like, I want that. I want that product. They're using it. Um, and lastly, we can go into social media. 
you know, create Facebook, Twitter, YouTube of all, all of our new products, you know, you know, people who are Facebook friends with us can get their um, new products that are coming out can get a little preview. And um, overall, I, I don't want to waste what our quality is, what we have built this company, what you guys have built your company up to. I don't want to waste that quality on us. I, um, you know, in our brand promise is just quality craftsmanship, top of the line, and I don't want to threaten that with this company. Okay, we have a couple of questions that we're supposed yep. to ask. Can you think of any way to get rid of excess merchandise besides the internet? And besides discounts? Um, you know, we can create an even better brand image and maybe even there we can uh, have charity, charities where we can, um, people can, charity auctions where people can um, buy our unused products, you know, with charities and maybe donate them to the less fortunate. Um, there are so many kids in Africa running around with no shoes. You know, Tom's has that where, you know, buy a pair of shoes from them, they'll donate a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to be very high quality, like pricing. So um, I definitely think we should, you know, think about that sort of thing. How would you characterize the outlet mall shopper? Um, like I've mentioned before, they are, you know, lower class, and th there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, even I like to do a little outlet shopping. You know, there's a purse I want, really don't want to pay that much. Uh, but yeah, I definitely think it's, it's, it's the lower end. They are definitely not willing to pay our prices, which is why they go to the outlet malls. Do you think rich people go there? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I do. Um, I I know there's the penny pinchers that come in there, sure. you know, and I and I understand that. But again, um, outlet malls really just have the image of selling products that weren't as high quality as needed. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Next. We have two questions, and then we can get into some other general. Well, questions. Yes. those are the questions that we were that we had to ask you. Okay. So I imagine you have another question. I always have something to say. No, and it's really, you know, you've determined there's a current brand awareness yes. and, and an emotional connection, yes. you know, to our brand. And, and by, by moving that to the outlet mall, it, it, to, to rephrase what you're, and summarize kind of where I think you're coming from, that would diminish that, mm -hmm. you know, both ethically as well as just, you know, brand identification. Yes. Pretty much what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, exactly. And so, your your then approach to this then would be to is to find an out outlet that would sell another way of selling this and that would mostly be online. Mm -hmm. And let me ask you a question: Would that be a, a loss leader kind of a, a promotion to to gain awareness by just not selling at a higher price, just create some some volume and some other things there, or would it be to somehow reach a market that you can make a marginal profit on? If you understand where I'm coming from. Those online sales, what kind of sales would those be? Online sales? Um, I feel like right now it would be, um, you know, people internationally, they heard about our product, they want it, they want it, you know. So would you reduce the, the, the price down to create a, a new customer base or simply to sell things to bring down inventory? Um, honestly, I don't think we should bring down our costs. Um, like I mentioned, um, discounts for products that were last season people that aren't buying. I can see us bringing down those, mm -hmm. those um, the cost for that. But overall, I really don't think we should, you know, consumers label high expensive prices with high quality. And I feel like if we do kind of lower our prices, people might associate that in their mind. You know, it may not be the truth at all, mm -hmm. but people will associate with their mind of lower costs, maybe lower costs. And you know, certainly one of the things that we talk about is our product is likely to appeal to a culture or a group of people. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's certainly in your marketing thought that we need to maintain that and not go too far off as outlet malls have a stigma attached to that as far Thank as it's, it's type of buyer. Mm -hmm. So that certainly that would be the thing that you would now want to see. Um, any other thoughts on outlet purchasing that would be a distraction to, to what would be a its total value as far as it's how you would, you know, fix, you know, promote, you know, set that up by either fixed costs or whatever. Did you give it any thought to the cost of, of opening up an outlet mall um, scenario? Um, a little bit. I can see us, like, I, I um, overall, I just, 
there would be costs like obviously opening up to a bunch of outlet malls. Um, we would gain profits, but overall, I think for, um, cost over profits, I think the cost is going to be a lot more okay. than. So it's really to fix costs. So yes. Opening up a lot of stuff. It's really be there. Mm-hmm. It's kind of, you know, we were, we're into this role-playing thing, and it's kind of fun. Is it? You know, and, <laughs> and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it as, as, as much as we have. Oh, yes, yes. My major is marketing. So you're, oh. you're into marketing. I'm, I'm very into marketing. So kind of like, if especially marketing ma ma manager is what I hope to achieve one day. I've looked into it and seen that it's more of a thing how uh, it's years on you versus schooling. So. Well, your charity thing was a good idea. I think that if there was anything missing, and it wasn't anything really missing, but it, to have more ideas like that incorporated, mm -hmm. and we all in the Midwest in presentations have to cut out the you guys. <laughs> oh, I you know. You used it four times, and, you know, and I'm not saying I haven't been guilty of it because we all mm -hmm. say it, but it really would be best if you didn't use that because you're very confident and well-spoken and everything, Thank and we you. all have a tendency to throw that in, and it doesn't work well. I know. <laughs> there's, there's been uh, another time where people are like, what's you guys? And I'm like, I know. Well, in the Midwest, Sorry. everybody knows. I mean, the yeah. rest of the country, there. What's you guys? You know. Mm -hmm. Certainly, you, you know, you stayed on topic. Okay. You know, you, you know, you knew where you were going with that, and um, you know, you, you, you know, you're confident. Your mannerisms and, and your your voice and stuff surely gave us a sense that you felt comfortable in discussing this. And uh, you know, I think you did a, a, a great yeah, job. Yeah, you were pretty positive Thank about you. how you felt about it. Oh yes. You know, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, and, and confident to the point where you're, you know, almost to the point you were going to argue that. Thing. So, you know, that's no, always. I'll never do that. No, but, no, it's but, okay. but you didn't. It's you know, okay. confidence is something that you know, either in, in job interviews or sales presentations, you have to get the the audience to feel like that you have confidence. You mm -hmm. don't want it to be a discussion of question. You want it to be a discussion of opinion and a qualified opinion, and that. You, you were able to and do back that. it up with reasons. And, yes. and so you, you know, That's what I tried. you know, you don't want to, to, to present doubt in your in, in your in your in your presentation because you don't believe it because you're not sounding that way. You became very strong in your opinions, you know, to to support what you were presenting. So and marketing in and of itself is pretty abstract. You need to make yeah. it. Oh yes. So, oh yes. So you know, you know, as 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 the movie career goes down the road, and then Karen will be calling. You guys. All right. Awesome. But, uh, we, we, we also mentioned that I'm a nurse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and do. I didn't. We didn't have to use that assistance. So I yeah. always I always say that first. He, he likes me to say the other stuff. First. So anyway, thank you very much. No, thank you, you very much. Job. Thank you. Good thank job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.